tell I'm watching Game of Thrones. Oh, man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, but then it's gonna be over. Ah, oh, it's gonna be hard to replace. I hope you guys are doing great. Episode two, season two, my training is ramping up. Things are going pretty good, dealing with a few little things, but you'll see. Monday morning of week two. I am headed out for six miles. Just did some stretching on the calves, a little bit of rolling. I'm trying to make sure I take a lot of care or pay a lot of attention to them. Just to make sure I start out this round of training. I backed off my running a little bit, so they are feeling better, but I'm also transitioning to the zero drop trail running shoes from Ultra. But right now I am still moving back and forth between ultras and I'm actually going to run today in the hookah road shoe. So uh, that does have a drop on it of about four and a half. So give my calves a little bit of a rest. So I'm slowly transitioning trail running. I'm using the zeros, but I'm going to use the hookahs for the run today on the road. It's Wednesday morning, folks. I am headed out for a six mile run. Feeling good, yesterday was a day off. I uh, just kind of rested, recover my only day off this week. I did stub my pinky toe last night. I was walking by and I hit it on something and I basically cracked my pinky toe nail. Pinky toes are still trying to heal from the race and oh, it bled and bled. It's painful, I can, I can feel it. Hopefully it doesn't bother me in the shoe too much. I did get a question about weightlifting and why am I weightlifting again? I'm an ultra runner now. For me, personally, I like upper body size. I would prefer to have some size, some definition. Summertime's coming. It's just something I feel more comfortable with on my body. I know a lot of ultra runners and runners in general are very small or that is the ideal physique. Well, for me, I, I don't want that physique. I don't want to go that far. I like having a more muscular uh, physique. So that's just my personal preference and maybe I'll lose some time on it. I won't be as fast. I will have to carry some of that weight, but that's just a trade off that I'm willing to make for uh, the rest of my life outside of running. Time to go get a run. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. Well, that was good. Six miles. Felt pretty good overall. My toe didn't really bother me that much. It is Thursday morning. I'm not running this morning. Unfortunately, yesterday during my run, about uh, three quarters of the way through, stepped off a curb and I felt a little twinge of pain in the uh, soleus on the, the right leg. So this morning, actually yesterday evening, it was a little tender, felt myself limping a little bit. This morning, still tender. So got up, did some massage, rolling, a little pulsating massage, but then I'm going to do some light weights today, do some seated calf raises with some dumbbells, if it doesn't hurt, 
need to start strengthening those, need to get those to heal so that I can continue training. Let the flame fill the night when we touch them we ignite. Well, that was good. Good workout, upper body. Did get a few exercises in to strengthen the soleus. Tried to do some one-legged uh, squats. A little too painful, so the calf raises were working well. Stuck with that. Now I'm gonna hit it again with a foam roller, just lightly. Shower and work. It is Friday morning. I'm headed out for five miles. My soleus has been a little tender, so I've been rolling it and massaging it and hitting it with the Tim Tam. I'm actually gonna ride the bike for a few minutes before I go out, just easy five miles, probably do a little walk, run, jog, just, just get it moving, see how it feels, so I can see how it'll feel for the weekend. <laughs> Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Five miles done, pretty good run. Still feeling a little tenderness, so just taking it easy. May take tomorrow easy as well and move my long run that's usually on Saturday to Sunday. But today I'm excited because I'm headed down to see the guys at Koros. Yep, Koros, the watch that I got. I'm going down to see them. They are local. We've been chatting. We go down, check out their office. leaving Koros. It was awesome to come down to the office, meet David and the crew. Very cool stuff that they're doing. Awesome to see a young company coming in, providing innovation. Their smart helmets, those things are awesome. I'm going to need one of those as I start training again for cycling and maybe doing a triathlon this summer. Built-in speakers, blinker on the back of the helmet will provide the audio that's on your phone. So if you have your GPS running, it's giving you directions. All that audio is coming right to the speakers, which don't actually go into your ear, which is really cool. They kind of sit on the outside and they're just directional. So you're still able to hear. That was one of the things I never liked wearing headphones or didn't wear headphones when I cycled. I don't wear them when I run very much. And the fact that those are uh, just directional and they don't actually, or they actually use uh, like the bone vibrations, they're not in your ear stopping you from hearing the things that are surrounding you. That's very, very innovative. So check out Koros. I'm gonna be using their watch, gonna be doing a review short. I'm just getting home. Thankfully, the weekend is finally here. The wife, she's headed out with her girlfriends for the night. It's gonna be a daddy-daughter movie night with a little bit of popcorn. It's Saturday morning. I'm gonna get a workout in on the rower and the bike. My soleus, still a little tender. 
I've been working on it, but uh, yeah, I'm not feeling the run today. So I am just going to get some cardio, maybe 30 minutes on here, and then maybe a little bit of body weight exercise, get some push-ups, some pull-ups, things like that in. And tomorrow, I'm hoping to get out on the trails, try and get uh, 15, if I'm filling up to it. On a run from a given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Done with Saturday's workout. Got some rowing in, about 20 minutes, nice. Get the heart rate up, get some sweat going on. Then some body weight movements, the ring push-ups. I love the ring push-ups because you really gotta force that hold. Pull-ups, and then I like doing some of those poses holds, like the L-sit or some yoga poses where you really have to focus on exactly what you're doing. Holding the pose, uh, just feeling the pain, really. I feel like it's really good mental strength training just to fight through those, focus, you're shaking, you're just burning. Love doing those. Now, I'm hungry. Time to go eat. I am eating some breakfast. Evelyn, she's still passed out. She got in our bed early this morning right as I was getting out to go to the gym. She's passed out. Did you sleep in? Where are we going, Evie? It is Sunday morning. I'm headed out for a run a little bit later today, 7.30 in the morning. It is overcast. I'm going out to the tracks at Brea, which is really flat, dirt track, basically, that runs through the city just to test out how the soleus feels. It has been really tender this week. I pulled it slightly on Tuesday, so I've been taking care of it. We're just gonna go nice and easy today. Well, that is it. Run felt really good, actually. I am wearing this neoprene brace on my leg, and it actually felt really secure. Soleus held up the whole way. I actually focused on more flat foot running, not bending my knee as much, because I was reading that the straighter your leg is, the less soleus activation it is. It's more calf, your calf muscles activate more. So I focused on that and didn't step off any major curbs dirt the whole way flat went out seven and a half got 15 total so we have a diorama to build today so i'm picking up some supplies Well, it's Sunday night. This is the end of episode number two. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I continue to try and increase the quality of my video content, keep it entertaining, but thank you as always. I'm very grateful for your support, your thumbs up, your comments. I'm a little behind on responding, just it's been super busy, but thank you for the comments. It always, always keeps me motivated. Next week at the end of episode three, I'm headed to Melbourne and then to Bangkok. So episode four and five will be international travel. Hopefully I can get some running in. Then episode six will be the uh, lead up to my 24 hour race, the nanny goat. So that'll be in episode six. So already time is flying by. Thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. They are helping me continue to create better content by financially supporting all the things I'm doing. Thank you. If you're interested in getting behind the scenes access, I do a lot when I'm traveling. Check out patreon.com slash cjmedia. Join the crew. 
Don't forget Rocks, Roots, and Ruts, the shirts, they are up on the website. You can go on there, order rocksrootsandruts.com. All the gear's up there. But thank you. I am done. I'm going to go in, spend the evening with the family. Just relax. Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., right back at it.